Hello everyone, this is Prussian Prince with our Total War Warhammer 2 video. This time it's going to be again uh, another early access video for, uh, you know, Shadow and the Blade. New DLC that's coming out. Uh, we will be taking a look at Maul's Dark Blade here. This is just a replay of me playing against the AI as uh, Hargraf against uh, Hargraf, Hargraf against uh, Chevalier de Lyonnais. Uh, now, of course, Hargrif has uh, Malus Darkblade and Chevalier de Lyonis uh, has Repons de Lyonis. Repons de Lyonis, yes, something like that. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna go over the compositions. Uh, I am, uh, of course, using Malus and we have Repons de Lyonis on the other side, so new units, new lords, rather. For Hargrif, we have uh, Malus Darkblade. There he is on his mount. Hello, good sir. Well, it's not necessarily good, but yeah. We have Deadly Onslaught on him, Blood Price, Demon's Curse, Zarkan, Warp Sword of Cain, and pretty much everything that you can on him. I did decide to bring two Cold One Knights. I have a Dress Spear on each of the flanks, as well as four Bleak Swords in the center. And I'm Trying out the new units as well, some of them at least. We have two of these blood rack shrines. You can see here. Sort of um, artillery missile chariot unit here. We'll see how much uh, they do, because as you can see stat-wise, they have some interesting stuff like these auras here. Or of ardor, or of agony, and uh, they could potentially be strong, depending. Now, for um, I do have another unit here, this uh, missile monster. This is the Arwar Bloodrack Medusa with Whale of Malice. Uh, we'll see how that works out. It causes tear and fear. <laughs> fear and terror, not tear. Like, is that a mix of terror and fear? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, this is my composition. Let's just go over it quickly or. Quickly, you see that we have a bunch of these red spears. Anyway, well, right now these are bleak swords, but yeah, I like the different colored. I do like the colors, though. I must say, uh, of this faction, and that's all we have. So let's take a look at the Bretonian army. Not Bretonia. I keep saying Bretonia. Well, technically Bretonia, right? It's uh, Chevalier de Lyonnais. So we have here is Réponse de Lyonnais on Suleiman, I believe her mount is called. There she is. Let me get a better shot at it, though. Yes, th this is... All right, we, we got a better shot. Nice. Yay. So, let's see what he's got here. So, uh, we have all the abilities and items. Sort of Leoness. Halo of Maidenly Wrath. Fleur de Lis Banner. Or Fleur de Lis. Um, then we have the Grail Reliquary. Um, and a bunch of these bowmen as well. So, just a couple of peasant bowmen, uh, three, four of them, and you know, some peasant mob, three of those, and a bunch of foot squires and men at arms, speed men at arms with shields, and about it. Now, cav wise, we do have, I believe it is four knights of the realm and one grail knight. That's what we decided to give the AI. There you have it. Um, so now let's let's actually take a look at how um, the units look for uh, Chevalier de Lyonnais, because you know they do have a little bit of a different color scheme and stuff. So there they are. You a decent look at them, hopefully. The foot squares as well here. Now, all right, let's let's get the show on the road. See what we're gonna do here, cause I'm gonna send Malus on my left flank, I'm gonna try and overload the left flank. Obviously I'm not trying to play this super competitively it, it, as well, because this is against the AI, I'm just trying to showcase stuff. So we'll see how we do this, and so now I'm going to fast forward a little bit so we get into the action sooner. Here comes Malus, there he is, I'm popping some abilities, and that is actually going to some damage to them. I have actually popped the uh, Deadly Onslaught and the uh, Blood Price, which, uh, you know, th that's some damage to me. Um, now, I did pop uh, the ability of this Arwar Siren. 
There's some engagements happening elsewhere, like over, over here, as you can see. Red Spears here are kind of getting wrecked by knights, but that's okay. The engagement's all over the line. Um, Reponse de Lioness is engaging my swords. There are knights around the field here. You can see Reponse here is doing what she does, which is killing infantry. One more hit. There's a lot of AoE, as you can see here. She's already at 31 kills. However, I do have some of these chariots here, these Bloodrack Shrines, who seem to be getting some kills here. And, uh, yeah, like, they're actually zapping the enemy quite well as well with the missile damage. Um, the enemy isn't quite sure what to do. And now here is Malus. Uh, we have Bloodstorm popped, and now he has been possessed. So, there we go. Malus is now possessed, and he's going through the enemy here. And when he gets possessed, by the way, he gets a new set of abilities. Um, keep that in mind. Um, so here he goes. I'm trying to send him into Repounce the Leoness to duel her, but it's going to take a while. You can see already my blood wreck strands have already done some damage here. You know, they're pretty cool. So here is Malas. She is now dueling. Uh, Pons and uh, he is popping some abilities too here. Well, we have that Leon slot, slot popped. It's an engagement over here. I mean, Malus is in pretty good shape though, to be fair, so he should be the one winning this engagement here. There he goes. Looks like she has been routed off the field, Rapons, that is, uh, you know. Malus was clearly able to take her on here. No problems for him. Now he's fighting off Grail Reliquay and some other units. In the meantime, though, we do have um, ROR Siren here. You can see. Well, Bl Bloodwreck Medusa, rather. She does have a pretty powerful attack, as you can see. She's doing quite a bit of damage to Reponse the Lioness. Uh, a damage of 450. Of course, uh, she does have an ability as well, which actually does damage to the enemies nearby. Now, here come the chariots. The chariots here have been getting a lot of kills for me. And the spearmen are getting wrecked by the chariots again. These chariots are doing extreme work here. Now, Mollus is under some trouble, right? He's actually taken a lot of damage, but he is uh, popping up some uh, good shots, though. Well, not him specifically, but the chariot is supporting him. Here we have Malus. Good work. But he's actually gonna start losing here. And you can see he's actually almost at his healing cap too. There's some foot squares in the back here. And now there is a there's a Reaper of Souls though, so. Malus is gonna start healing. He does also pop the Bloodstorm, which is gonna do some AoE damage. Of course, there's an engagement here. The Grail Knights have got the Siren of Red Ruin, and you know, like, see how much damage they do to her here, but he's actually gonna start dropping an HP. Because she's surrounded by Grail Knights, of course, Grail Knights. And they're gonna be winning if uh, they stay in there. However, you can see here that. Man himself, Malus, is still alive. Well, who is now at Zarkhan. And we'll see if he stays alive for much longer, because I have a feeling that that might not be the case here. He's very low on 37 HP, so him getting touched is going to be extremely bad. There he goes! He goes down! Maybe a fly hit him or something, but definitely went down there. Now there's going to be the final engagement, Cold One Knights against uh, all these uh, Grail Knights here. Uh, of course, these chariots here are actually hitting and they've done a lot of work here, these chariots. You can see that they're up to like 140 kills each or so. They also have some nice auras as well. Again, they're doing damage to Grail Knights. Like these, these auras here, it's their attack, leadership and... Basically, the same buffs that they give, they, they debuff the enemy. 
There we go, we have a Pyrrhic victory on the side of Malas Darkblade. He takes out Repans de Leonis, or rather, he did not take out Repans de Leonis. He died, and Repans de Leonis survived this battle because he was routed off the field, and he wasn't. So she gets to live, and he doesn't live, even though he technically won the duel. Anyway. Wow, look at the kills on the, those Gold One Knights and the Bloodwreck Shrines. And they actually got some XP chevrons as well. Pretty cool. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. See you all next time.